This industry expert strongly believes that the outright purchase of vehicles does not align the economic impacts of the acquisition of vehicles with the fiscal impacts, and he is therefore a strong proponent of leasing and debt financing. Even if interest rates go up, um, I think that uh, at Mercury we continue to be strong proponents of uh, financing the capital costs of fleet assets uh, as close as possible to the expected service lives of those assets. We are unabashed, frankly, critics of outright purchase of vehicles uh, because we think that the outright purchase, purchase of vehicles does not align the economic impacts of the acquisition of vehicles uh, with the fiscal impacts. In other words, if you have to spend $150,000 cash to put a new truck in your fleet, even though the benefits of that truck, the benefits to the company, i.e. the economic impacts, are going to be realized over a period of several years, you have to have the 150000 in the year in which you acquire the truck. And so we see that misalignment of fiscal or financial impacts and economic benefits leading to a lot of suboptimal decision making. I could name uh, some very large companies that are household names in, in this country that are purchasing vehicles outright with cash and by their own admission have replacement backlogs in the hundreds of millions of dollars. It's not that they can't afford to replace their fleet assets in a timely manner and reduce the total cost of ownership. As a result, there is just not the willingness to do that because they are paying cash for vehicles and they are looking at replacement spending decisions, therefore, on a fiscal year by fiscal year basis. So it's, a, it's an interesting phenomenon. It's one, one that I've been talking about for 20 years and will probably talk about for the rest of my career. Uh, so we're, we're uh, very strong proponents of either leasing or debt financing, anything that, that will allow you to pay for the capital costs of an asset as you are using it up as opposed to before you begin to use it.